So I'm gonna jump back a little bit in this course here because I know that we are at episode 22. So we're just gonna time travel back and insert this video somewhere inside this course here uh, because someone in the comments made me aware of a new law that came into effect in Germany. So from the last episode, we talked about how to include a custom font into the website. We do need to talk a little bit about this law here since it is something that can change quite a few things when it comes to including fonts inside your website. There is something called CDPR compliancy which means that you need to make sure that if you're collecting data from users, that you need to have a little pop-up or do some certain things inside your website to make sure that the user is aware that you're collecting personal data. And that is essentially what CDPR compliancy is. You've probably seen it a lot of times, you know, whenever you enter a website, there's gonna be like a little pop-up that says, do you accept all these things? And then you say, okay, I accept all of them. Or you say you don't accept anything. The reason this is relevant is because whenever you include a font into your website using a API like we've done so far, which is basically where you go inside your head tag, you include a font using a link on API, and then you collect the font online, into your website. And this is quite different because in order to do this, Google will actually need to pick up your IP address. And because they do this, it is considered to be personal data that is being collected. And because of this, the German court in January of 2022 decided that Google Fonts has to follow the you know, CDPR compliancy laws, which means that if you live in a country that has CDPR compliancy laws in effect when it comes to Google Fonts and you actually upload a website and you don't follow the specific rules that you need to follow in order to make these type of API fonts applicable to your website, uh, then you can get into a little bit of trouble. And again, it is important to, to mention here that it is only Germany so far, from what I can tell, that has these CDPR compliancy laws when it comes to websites, but this is something that can spread. So if you want to make sure that you are secured in the future when it comes to making websites, it is a considerably argument to downloading a font instead and then inserting it inside your root folder and then linking to that particular local font inside your server. So in the last video where we talked about these two different methods of linking to fonts, it, it might actually be a quite a big argument to not use a link like we've done here, uh, but to just download the font instead and then include it inside your website. So uh, that is something that is very serious <laughs> to consider when it comes to building websites. I will leave a link in the description where you can read up a little bit more on these CDPR compliancy laws and what actually they are when it comes to collecting privacy data. Um, but just to say, if you're following this course here, it is probably the best idea idea to just download the font, include it inside your website root folder, and then link to it. That is the best way to do it. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this course so far and continue to enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.